I have a friend named Beverly Jo. She lives in Oregon. She's a Cherokee, but she she has a bunch of questions. And she says, and thank you, Les, for doing this interview. But it's on the premise of capture of grandma. We'll start with that. I don't think she was captured or in prison or anything, but she takes it that she may have. Some people would think that they were captured and in, in, in prison in school. But we'll start with Grandma Minnie. So uh, the first question is, what was Minnie's life before she was taken? Before she was taken, so far as I know, that she was raised in a traditional type family. Do you think she lived in a teepee or in a home at that time? Well, the pictures I saw of her when she was little, and uh, preschool, she lived in a home. Do you think her parents had a choice in her being taken? Taken to school? To, to school? To Carlisle? Uh, I, according to what she told me, I don't, don't believe so. I think that uh, the army and the federal government at the time were gathering all the school-age children and even the one into young adults and gathering them up and shipping them to Carlisle Indian School from Pennsylvania. We're putting them on a train in nearby Rushville, Nebraska, 23 miles to the south, and riding the train all the way to Carlisle Indian School in Pennsylvania. That's a long drive, long way. Uh, was she able to contact her family while she was at Carlisle? As far as I know, according to her, she didn't have any contact with him at all. How long was it before she actually saw her family again? After she school? told me around seven years. Did she? Do she ever mention any friends? Did she have any close friends at school? She didn't mention anybody at school. She mentioned some preschool friends, but one favorite woman that uh, she later knew in the agency that had married a, a man that, that uh, built houses and uh, created a uh, rental income property. Do you remember what his name was? His, uh, I don't remember his name, but her name was, her, her name, and I don't know if it was her maiden name or not, but her name was Grace Larvey when I met her. Uh, what was a typical day like for, for many at, at, at the at school? Carla? Yeah. Uh, when she first got there, she said they uh, prepared her for boarding school. And uh, so they got rid of all of her traditional, she was in traditional dress when she boarded the train in Russell, Nebraska, and traveled there. So they took her, all of her clothes away and they gave her government issue clothes with the girls and the boys. Was she hurt in any way at the school? Not that I know of. She never did mention any injury did, or anything. Did she see anyone else hurt in any way? No, she never did mention anybody getting hurt at all, the children. Oh, um, were any of her uh, family members ever taken to this school or another school when she was young, like that? No, she was the only female. She had two older brothers and, and uh, one younger brother that she did not know about until she got back from school in Pennsylvania. 
do you think that she knew where she was at once she got there? I mean, she had no idea. She just knew that it was a long train ride, and it took a long time. She didn't know how many days they had been traveling. Mm. You think it scared her? Evidently, it did. But she said that the adults, when she got to the they took the, all the children and took them to the area where they were uh, stripped of their clothing and given the uniforms and stuff, the government issue clothing to dress in. Mm -hmm. 